In today's tutorial, we're making this wall hanging. The materials you need are listed in the description below. We're gonna start by attaching the colored cords to the dowel with the Lark's head knot. Fold your first cord in half equally, come around the back of the dowel, and then you just pull it down through the loop. And do that with all eight cords. I've labeled this as a filler cord in the description below. I'm using cream. Of course, you can use whatever color you like. So you're gonna center this cord and it's gonna be the filler cord right here. So what I like to do is come to the further end and tape the cord to the dowel. It just makes this process much easier. It holds the cord for you. Now we're gonna do double clove hitch knots from the left all the way to the right. Lift the first cord up, go over the back of the cord that I have here as cream. It's also called the filler cord. Just bring it up and hold it in place. Now take the same cord again, go over the cream cord, around the back, and through that opening. Now pull it snug. Hold those together because it's not very secure until we do the next knot. So those are nicely positioned. Take the next cord over and go over the cream cord, around the back of the cream cord, and then through that opening. Over the top, around the back, and through the opening. There's a link in the description below for the double clove hitch knot if you're not catching on to it right now. Go to the next one and then just keep doing this all the way across. You wanna keep your cream cord, the filler cord, held in the direction you want the knots to go. So we wanna keep it horizontal. Now you can undo the cord on the left. Now take another one of your filler cords, the cream cord, then secure it again on the left side. Now we're not gonna use that first gray cord, we're gonna go one in. Now go all the way along to the other side, but do not use the last cord. Let the cord down on the other side. So keep doing the same thing, going in one on each side and just doing the horizontal clove pitches all the way across until you've used up all your seven filler cords or cream colored cords in my case. So that's what it looks like so far. Now we're gonna tuck in all of these cords except the bottom four. Those ones we're gonna leave as fringe. Let's go one in and just clip your cord. If you've watched any of my tutorials before, you know I love these. They're self-locking forceps. You could use needle nose pliers, anything. These are great because once you put your cord in here and you clamp it, these have this locking mechanism here. It's fantastic. So then you just don't, your cord doesn't slip out. But any pliers or your fingers, or you can use a crochet hook. I'm gonna take this cord, I'm gonna tuck it into this loop here. Go under with my pliers, put the tip of the cord in the pliers. I lock mine. Then I just pull them through. Then I like to clip the end of the cord. But again, if you've watched any of my tutorials, you know I like to then glue the cords in place. I'm using this fabric glue. You could use craft glue as well. I just dab it on, do it on both sides. That's it. So I'm gonna do that with all the cords except these bottom four. Now let's just take a few minutes to wait for the glue to dry. Now everything's nice and dry. Now you wanna flip your wall hanging over. Now we're gonna cut the fringe. I like to use this cutting mat. If you've watched any of my tutorials before, you've probably seen me use the rotary cutter. This is the way I like to cut my fringes and edges on smaller macrame projects. You can absolutely use scissors for this piece here. I'm gonna cut this on an angle. My gray cord I used three strand twisted cord, so I'm gonna untwist all of my cords here. This is the easiest way to comb out twisted cord is first to untwist the strands. Then I go in with my dog brush. I like to hold down my wall hanging so it doesn't get distorted. Then I like to go in with my metal comb and get in closer. Now that the fringe is all combed out, I'm gonna put my cutting mat down again, and I'm just gonna tidy up the bottom edges. And there it is all finished. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial today. Happy macrameing.